Welcome back to my channel. I know, I know I was gone for way too long, but now that I'm back, today I wanted to do a Valentine's Day inspired look. Well, you can pretty much wear this for any occasion, and I have two different lip combo that I wanted to show you guys, so let's begin. This is more of a wearable makeup look, so I wanted to keep it as simple and easy as possible. I already primed my face with Pearl Primer from Benefit and Bobbi Brown's Vitamin Enriched Face Base. Then I took the NARS uh, new foundation, the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is a really fantastic foundation actually and I'm in the Shane Stromboli and I'm blending that in with IT Cosmetics Complexion Perfection pa Oh my god, these names are so long. I'll have all everything listed below but yeah, one of those really pretty brushes. <laughs> then I took the Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer and this is one of my favorite concealer because it really stays put and it really gets the job done and it's so lightweight. So um, I've, I'm using the shade, wait, I don't think I have the shade name anymore. It actually rubbed off. But I mainly use this in my uh, acne scars and wherever I have hyperpigmentations because this is a little bit of a darker shade. So it kind of has like a little bit uh, of that reddish undertone. So it's really fantastic for uh, covering up anything that's like a little bit more darker in pigments. And then I take a lighter um, concealer which is by a company called Frankie Rose Cosmetics and it's in the shade Chai. It's a lighter shade but I lo love using it for to like you know highlight my under eye area and my eyes. I even use this to like prime my eyelids. Um, Another thing is, when it comes to contouring and highlighting, I have my own different kind of techniques which I couldn't show um, in this video because there was just a lot that needed to be covered. So uh, if you guys want to see it, let me know and I will do a separate video dedicated to that topic only. Um, so here I'm just doing like the basic minimum uh, sort of highlight and uh, contouring in a way which you'll see in a bit. Then I took the MAC Cosmetics Translucent Powder and uh, this angled brush by Marc Jacobs. It's supposed to be for contouring but I actually like it for uh, to like uh, set my under eye area and my eyelid in a way. Uh, I just took a little bit, just a little bit just so I can like set that area. And then I took this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Powder. It's a super um, like older collections but I really like that and a Maybelline Fit Me Powder. I've mixed these two because they're a little bit deeper in shade and I like to use it in the outer perimeter of my face. And that way um, I, don't, I don't use them to like set my entire face. I just use them around the outer perimeter kind of like near the contour, uh, cheekbone area, jawline, forehead, that type of a deal. Then I took MAC Cosmetics Hyper Real Glow um, Highlighter Palette. This is one of the new highlighter palette that MAC has come up with. There is another shade um, or another palette that's more of like a rosy golden tone and this one's, well that one's more of a reddish tone and this one's more of a golden yellowy tone. And uh, I really really like this. It does not cling on to your uh, patchiness or if you have like skin texture, it really doesn't cling on to it and it looks really really good and flawless. To contour slightly, I took the Smashbox Cosmetics Contour Palette and the brush that comes with it. And this is a very small, uh, sort of a dense contouring brush. And I use that to like really create sharp lines. And then I go in with the fluffy angled brush to just like buff that in. Uh, again, as I said, I'm not including everything in this video because it just wouldn't be possible because the video will be too long. <laughs> But I have like my own little technique where I do contouring and highlighting where it looks very blended and seamless. I see so many girls with like uh, a white line and a dark line like the contouring shade doesn't match and it doesn't merge properly and I it's just very cringy like I don't know it's just I would never do that. <laughs> but anyways next I moved on to the eyebrows I'm using the Hourglass Cosmetics um, Brow Sculpting Pencil and um dark brunette. I really like this. I know it's really big. For a lot of people, they would prefer something a little bit more skinnier, but I tend to really like this because I have bigger eyebrows anyways and it gets the job like super, super fast. Like it's, I really like it. And to clean up my brows, I'm using my uh, Frankie Rose Cosmetics uh, concealer and a con uh, flat concealing brush. Uh, I believe the brush is from Modus Cosmetics. Oh no, wait, it's from Bare Min Minerals, excuse me. Then for my eyeshadow, 
I took the Urban Decay's new Naked Petite Heat Palette. This is a new uh, palette that uh, it's from the Naked Heat collection, but it's a smaller one, so it's easier to travel with. I really like it. So for my first shade, I took Hot Spell, and I'm taking a fluffy blending brush from uh, Royal Royal and Lang Nickel. I don't know how to say it, but it's this big brush. <laughs> big fluffy brush and I'm just putting it all over my eyelid and next I took a NARS fluffy blending brush and I took the color uh, Wild Thing and Haste and I mixed it, uh, the two shades and I'm going all over my eyelid but mainly focusing near the outer corner and the crease area here's a little trick I tend to hold my brush a little bit upwards this way it's a little bit more easier to blend sorry I needed to take a little break <laughs> but there's a lot of blending that will be um, you know happening yeah I, I kind of blend or over blend sometimes and then I took the uh, Urban Decay's Naked Skin Concealer and that same concealer brush by Bare Minerals and I went over my um, eyelid just to create like a softer cut crease effect but I'm mainly focusing um, the brush, like holding it downwards. And then, yeah, here's another trick. Hold the brush upwards in a sideway so you can actually create and find your crease and create that like crisp line. This way it's a lot easier. And another trick I will show you in a second where you can, when you move on to the next set, if you have problem with your brushes or like placement of the eyeshadow products, this is a very easy and a uh, simple technique. Here I'm actually lifting the brush again, sideways holding it flat as much as I could. And now I'm going to like focus it where my crease actually is, where the fold is. And I'm going to like swoop it. Is it swoop or swipe? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to like take it from the inner corner uh, towards the outer. And when I do that clean one swipe motion, it just gives me that perfect cut crease uh, effect. It's just super easy this way. And then I took a big... Um, well, what do you call this like a shader brush from Veramona and I took the shade uh, vibrate wow <laughs> nice choice of names and then I just highlighted my brow bone next I took the Tarte's chrome paint pot in top yacht and this is a beautiful color like really really pretty champagne gold color you can pretty much put anything at this point you can kept keep it matte you wouldn't have to add anything shimmer you really but this was just really pretty for me to like pass on to I know I wanted to keep it simple yet a little bit more glam but I just had to uh, I took an elf flat eyeshadow brush and I sprayed a little bit with the pixie by Petra hydrating milky mist and then I just took it and swiped that color all over my eyelid again following the same technique where I just uh, take the brush in a swiping motion so it give, creates like the, a softer cut crease effect. Next I took uh, the same palette and the shade Strike and a brush from Motives Cosmetics. It's like a, a patent pending brush, that's what it says, but I really liked it just to like stamp on the darker shade near my outer corner just to stamp it on. Once I have it stamped on, I went in with my NARS blending brush. This one's a little bit more uh, like not dense but it's it's a little bit stronger than my other blending brush which is a little bit more fluffier so I take the NARS one to like blend it and if this will happen I will go back and forth I will stamp the color on again and then blend again with my fluffy brush just so I have like that intensity that I'm looking for once I'm satisfied then I'll move on to the next step here I'm using that purple fluffy brush again and this is just to like diffuse it even more near the outer corner completely that way I can have that very smooth clean uh, sort of a look then I moved on to my eyeliner and this is by it cosmetics it's the superhero eyeliner I really like this eyeliner and the mascara from uh, it cosmetics the, this line is really really fantastic so I just took this and gave myself a winged eyeliner Obviously, eyeliner is the most challenging part, <laughs> but it's actually easier. Again, that same technique. When you hold the brush or eyeliner or anything in an upward motion, um, it just makes it so much easier while you're actually looking down into the mirror and you just align your eyes. Then I took the Iconic London Lashes, and this is... Um, I forgot what lashes this is the info will be down below so don't worry I'll have all the information there and it's so fluffy and flirty fluttery excuse me it's so beautiful but I also wanted to add in a little bit of a uh, option for you you can use just a mascara 
I use the Benefits new uh, Bad Gal Bang Mascara. <laughs> so you can either keep it only with mascaras or add, you know, if you want to take it a little step further, then just throw in your false lashes. Like, why not, right? It's fun. It's for date night. Why not? Uh, I went back to the palette and this time I took Wild Thing and Hot Spell and I just took that fluffy brush and just, uh, you know, put it under my on my lower lash line, I mean. Next, I went in with my mascara again uh, on my bottom lash line. And this time, here's another trick. Take a small pointy brush and I went back with uh, the sh eyeshadow palette again and I took Hot Spell and Heast, I believe. I don't know how to say it. Heast, Hest, whatever, how you say it. Um, and I went back underneath my lower lash line. That way, it will actually sm uh, stop from my mascara from smudging. That's a, a little small tip for you guys. So add a little bit extra powder and that prevents the mascara from transferring. So yeah, the next step left is just to do the lipsticks. Um, first, I wanted to add the nude lipstick option. So for that, I took ColourPop Lippy To Go in Capiche. I just used the, uh, the liner side and I just lined my lips with it. And for the nude color, nudie pinky color, I used Vivid Mad Liquid by Maybelline in number 10, Nude Flush. I just wanted to add like a little bit of a nude option for my nude lovers. But if you're, uh, if you're someone who likes bolder colors, then for that, I took the Jouer Cosmetics um, Lip Cream in Phrase Bon Bon. So yeah, this, this is a very, very beautiful red shade. I know it's from an older collection too. It's nothing new. You can use anything. The Fenty Beauty lip color is also very beautiful. That's out right now. Um, but it's such a beautiful bluish toned red. It makes your teeth look really white. It just looks so pretty. I didn't add any lip liner with this because I really don't need it because it's so, so, so strong and just really bold. So there is the look and that's pretty much all I did. I didn't do much with my hair because I kind of like my hair messy that's just how i am i like my i like to have messy hair on me on me personally so that's pretty much for the look i really hope you guys enjoyed this and hope this was helpful and if you guys have any questions and comments please let me know also please subscribe that would really help me and i'm actually going to be doing a giveaway very very soon also follow me on social media snapchat instagram facebook what have you so yeah thank you